Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I want to show y'all how to get a black glitter smoky eye. So, ooh, girl, a matte. No, it's gonna end up be matte. It's gonna be matte. It's gonna be like a black glitter smoky eye tutorial, bitch. Y'all see down there in the uh, in the in the in the title. So, if you want to see me do this black glitter smoky eye, then keep on watching. Category is, is bring it to the runway. Category is stars, stars statements, statements, and legends. I'm gonna use the F concealer and a lighter shade. Y'all, when y'all doing like any kind of eyeshadow, and y'all want the color pop, use a lighter shade than your skin color. So I use this like this white cane. It's not all the way white, but it still gets the job done. I'm not going like sugar white. I'm not going that white. I'm just like going a little, a little bit lighter than my skin tone. The people that the Caucasian people that got this, y'all know how Caucasian people how white they is. They uh they got to use like sugar and white, sugar and white, whatever they call it. Um, now that's for the like the real pale people. But uh, so I see some people use their skin tone. Where some uh Caucasian people use their skin tone, like, girl, okay, I reckon y'all can use y'all skin tone. Because y'all got no pigment in no no black people skin tone, but anyways, anyways. So after I get that laid down, had it dry for a minute. Anyways, yeah, had it dry for a minute. Now I'm now I'm going to the first thing I go into is black. So I'm going to. I'm going to the birthday, the birthday bitch palette. I'll try not to cuss, but anyway, do what the palette called the birthday palette. That's what I'm gonna call it. And I'm going to the black right now. See, I'm gonna start from the, I'm gonna start from the lash line and start blending. Get this little, get this little brush like this. I'm going in like eyeliner. Oh my God, it's long, my girl. Y'all can hear it long more. I believe y'all can hear it long more. If I can hear it, y'all can hear it. But uh, anyways, I just gonna like go in like a uh, a lana, and I just gonna like put that all the way in there like that. So first, I'm gonna start off as a lana. Now I'm gonna get this black with this little brush right here, and I'm digging that same palette that I did that I'm using. Now I'm just gonna start right there in the middle and start packing and blending like that. Yeah. So y'all, if y'all hear some, that's the some out there cutting grass here. So, oh lord, this really gonna hit. Y'all gonna hear long moles and shit. This is a reason why I can't wait to get my own place, girl. So I ain't got to worry about, not worry about peace and quiet while I'm doing my YouTube videos. So yeah, y'all see y'all getting that black. And like blending up in there. I'ma blend more on the edges when I get in there. Now y'all see me do this last last week on a video that I started with the black and then lay the shimmer down. So yeah. I know y'all saying, okay, Vanessa, why you posting this Monday? Because you said you're gonna skip a week. Girl, I can't. I can't skip no kind of weeks now because 
I'm monetized. And I wanna like keep it going because so they can think I'm a serious I'm a serious with this um with my YouTube. So I gotta keep it going. I gotta release so I'm going in with a brown. I'm going in with this color brown, this kind of brown right there. I'm just going in, going around the edges right there, kind of soften that black out some. And so it won't be so, you know, so dull and like a, a black eyeliner. So I'm just going in there, soften it out some, going under the brown a little bit. So, I don't like the shimmery colors under my eyebrow because what's the point? So, I'm just going to get the black and, like, start uh, going in circles and blending that into the brown, too. So, marry them to the gilder. Yes. Yes. Y'all see me do this last week on the video when I'm doing the runway makeup look. It gonna be similar to uh the runway makeup look, but not that similar. So they get started packing on the glitter. Who got the best glitter that match a black smoker eye? Is y'all already know Jeffrey Damn Star with uh the cremated palette. I'm going to this um this shimmery black glitter right there with uh with this packing brush, and I'm just gonna like start packing that. On the lid, like just like that. Mhm. Mm I might, I might use my finger so it could be glitter. Let's use my finger. So, oh, look at that, y'all. Oh, they gonna make it black. Oh, oh my lord, look at that. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Oh, this gonna be so pretty. It seemed like I did this look kind of before, but kind of like different. Mm. And then I'm going my palette. Then I'm going my palette, going this glitter right there. This is like a little, a chunky glitter. Let's see, look, like that right there. This got a little, like, different kinds of color in it, but it, it'll match. It's, oh, my God. Down to the girl, though. Look at that. Down to the girl, though. You can't. That is no match. Look at that. Look how good it go on. You don't need no kind of, no kind of glitter glue or nothing. You just pack it on. Right there. Look at that. Ooh. You don't go back in that black. I'm, I'm going to wing out the edge right there and start winging it out. See, y'all seen a similar kind of look to this last week. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Now, y'all done effed up. All right. Ooh, a little bright in the corner, bitch. So I'm going to this cremated palette, and I'm going this shade right there. Ooh, bitch. I'm going Paul Barrels in the cremated palette. Ooh, bitch. I gotta get Jeffrey Star Mirror for this. Ooh. So, anyways, so I shade it. I don't know. So I'm just gonna like pack it right there in the inner corner. Oh, look. Oh, look. Oh, look. Y'all can't speak. Look at that. I know I got a, a million different lights on me now, and y'all can't hardly see it. Let me dim down the lights, son. Y'all, ooh. Hold on. I'll be right back. Let me dim down the lights, son, so y'all can see it. Look at that. Look at that. When I clean it up and do the full face, 
Oh, bitch. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Makeup wipe and wipe my face down. All right, on my eye. Sharpen that up. My wipe on my eye, I just want to sharpen the, the eye up like that. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know. Cause eyeshadow do fall around the nose. Y'all see how much black eyeshadow I got on here. Look. Look how that fall out. Yeah. So it's, it is very important to to wipe only your eye and your face cause the fallout is real. You might not see it, but it's there. Look at that. It's there. Mm -hmm. That's why it's very important to wipe your whole face after you get finished doing eyeshadow. If you do eyeshadow first, if you do foundation first, make sure you put powder on your eye. So when eyeshadow fall, it'll catch. Yeah. So anyways, let's get started on face. Now I'm gonna get started with the F with the F matte powder problem right here. Girl, I only must know where my uh where my little beauty oil went, but anyways. Oh this fly getting on my nerves. But anyways, I could use this. I'm just warming up in the hand like that. Ooh, and like a on my That's why I want to view the R because I'm gonna let it let this pedal power stay out too long and not in a little hot look. But when I put the foundation over it'll be better. So I'm gonna try to use this new foundation brush right here. Let's see. Let's see how it works. And this brush will be coming soon. Yeah, it'll be coming soon on my website. New makeup brushes, new everything, girl. So, I know some of y'all know, if y'all follow my, my, Insta my Instagram, my Facebook page, or whatever, I did have to like rebrand two times. Yeah, I had to find a new name two times real fast. The first time, I got a claim that somebody, somebody else had Z Fantasy Beauty. So I, we just came to a conclusion that, well, I'll change it. Then we went to um went to Black Girl Beauty Cosmetics. Somebody somebody try to one up me and try to bring me down. So they want to take the name. So I said, yeah, y'all can take it. I don't care. Uh, uh, I don't I don't give a f what y'all. But anyways, now. Is uh the warrior royal uh black beauty warrior black beauty cosmetics and that will be the last time I changed my brand name. Mm -hmm. That'll be the last time I changed my brand name. See, I don't like new brushes, but. Ugh. I got to test it out before I start selling my new brushes. Uh, it kind of working good though. It just taking longer to uh to blend to blend all the uh the foundation all over my face. But it kind of worked good though. It kind of working kind of good. Okay, okay. 
He got to blend it out. He got to blend it out. Let me show y'all the next brush. The next brush you can use for, uh, like, concealer or powder. It's like this right here. And look at it. It's, like, real thick. And you can use it for foundational powder. And this brush, it's like, y'all can see how soft it is. But you can use it for foundation. But this right here, it's real, like, real thick. It blends out the, it get right between the eyes. The, let me show y'all with the concealer. So, I'm going to add two concealers on. I'm going to use this darker concealer. Y'all know how I do with the concealer. I use a darker one, and then I use a lighter one. Use the F concealer, the light in the dark. So I'm just gonna use this new, my new brush. So let's see. So you can just get in there between the eyes and everything, girl, down the nose, and you can just get in there. But I do go behind it with the beauty blender and and uh, like do everything in there. Anyways, look. But when you use a brush, make sure you go out with a beauty blender to make that make sure everything pushed in and blend it. Cause blood a brush don't blend everything. So get in there like that. Bam. Mm-hmm. And it's good to get down the nose too, look. Oh, forehead. Let's see my forehead. And down the nose. Look how it go down the nose like. Look how it blend down the nose. Perfect. It gives you a little perfect line. And I've been using these on like people that can't get their makeup done. So I want to make a brush that you ain't got to be doing all that bouncing and you know, like with the beauty blender, you ain't gonna do all that bouncing. But I just go with a beauty blender, make sure everything pushed in to blend it. Do what I do. And I don't, I don't touch the nose with the beauty blender. I do my hand because when you go cock with the beauty blender, I'm going to use a little tip. It spreads the product and, you know, some powder tang. I'm going with the black radiant powder. Y'all know what powder I use. If y'all are new to my channel, and then I use the black radiant powder to set my face. I use the black radiant like heavily. I should be sponsored by black radiant by now. How many times I use it? Look at that. I use it a lot because I'm going to the gym tonight and I need this to be set all day and the night. Mm -hmm. Everywhere I pick concealer, I pick the, the powder. So, I do go on the nose with the powder, and you stick to that, um, that, that concealer, and you stay in a straight line, okay? Okay. So, let me get all that gone. Knock the excess powder off. Look at that. Time to contour, y'all. Some of y'all know how to contour by now, but it's new people come to the channel 
to watch my uh my YouTube videos to try to figure out such stuff. So I'd go around the forehead with the contour. Make sure you get the contour that's dark into your skin tone. Girl, don't go real dark. If you Caucasian, the Caucasian people used to go like this, like like this shade darker than them, or light them. I got my, hold on y'all. So I always use black radiant contour powder, but I do got my own. And I will show y'all that in a minute. So y'all see how dark it is. So I go with my contour palette. So this is the, uh, the deep to deeper. So I kind of go in right here. And I kind of go in there a little bit like that. Just to not my contour be so dark. And I got the lighter palette. So for, the, for my Caucasian people, if y'all don't, if some of y'all can't go real dark like I go dark I got the the light to deep palette some uh, Caucasian people some Caucasian people like hold on y'all I'll try to get this palette right some of y'all Caucasian people can go for this color this color and if y'all got a tan y'all can go for these colors so yeah I got stuff for my Caucasian people too so this is the two palettes. So you got the darker skin tone palette right there. And you got the lightest, the Caucasian, the darker skin tones. If y'all kind of like a Mexican color or... <laughs> I don't want to sound racist, but... Some, some people watch my videos saying I'm racist. But I'm not racist, y'all. So... I don't think I'm ill. But anyways, I'm going to go back in this black in my palette. And I'm going to go under my eye and, you know, outline that with the black. With this eye, I kind of don't want to put on no, I kind of want to put on no lashes, but I don't know. Like I said, I'm going to the gym, so I don't want to actually to the gym. So I'm going with the um uh, with the mascara from Maybelline. If I put on mascara and this look good, hold on y'all. Oh no all that for me. Y'all, this look good when not no when I eyelashes. Y'all can put on eyelashes if I want to. Like I said, this look good with eyelashes or without eyelashes. If y'all don't wear eyelashes like that, then y'all go plain like this. If y'all do, y'all can pop some eyelashes on there. And call it a day, bitch. So, for lips. Since I'm so dark, going dark, dark. I'm going to go in with Jungle Queen. My lipstick. And her darker end, a lot of skin tone. Mmm. So I just went in with Jungle Queen. Now I'm going to go in with, um, with the Maybelline Superstay lipstick and kind of go over it.
See, if I wear Maybelline Super Stay lipstick by itself, then it won't be like this light. It'll be like real dark. It'll be match my skin tone. So for blush, like I told y'all, like I told y'all in the in the other video, uh, if you ain't got no blush palette, and then it's always a blush in your palette. In your eyeshadow palette, it's always a, a blush in there. So let me show y'all. So this is the Chi Chi Rose palette. The palette I came out last month. This month with. So I go in uh in this color right here and these two colors. So I just like get in there, girl. I don't go like real light with it. That's why I tap it off first. Cause if you don't, you can look like a, a blush mess. Look at that. The blush changed the whole thing. I'm just gonna leave it on the nose like that. Ooh, the blush changed the whole thing. And like it. another thing is always a highlighter in the palette. So I'm going to this shade right there. It's like a, a rose highlighter, a rose gold highlight. So I just feel like softly going in there like that. Mm-hmm. And you can uh, tap it out a little bit like that. Yep, there you go. And you can tap it out a little bit. On the nose. Yeah, if you put highlight on the nose, that's the most nose will snatch. I ain't about to highlight that like that no more. Alright guys, this is the whole finished look with this like this glitter smoky eye. Look at it. Ooh, bitch. But anyway, if y'all want to put on eyelashes, y'all can. So, all right, guys. My social media is linked down below. My discount code is linked down below. My website is linked down below. But I got to get a new domain. But anyways, go follow my Instagram. Go follow my business page on Facebook. Yeah. So, all right, guys. Bye. Ooh.